Hey guys, Sandy here, and I am ready to scrapbook. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> um, so today I am going to be scrapbooking these two photos of my daughter. Um, this is while she was at school last year. Um, she took a picture with the mascot. Um, and I have some papers pulled out. I have some field trip, some just some cardstock, and some close to my heart. So let's see what I can do. Now I went ahead and gutted that page with all of the books and notebooks. And then I am just going to do a double mat on the paper that goes on top of it. Um, I know I've said this a lot in my recent videos, but I'm batch voiceovering right now and I am super congested. My allergies are kicking my little hiney right now. And um, so if I sound funny or if I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I'm having trouble breathing through my nose. So I have to breathe through my mouth while I'm talking and it just makes me sound like I've been running up and down the stairs for six minutes. Um, so I apologize in advance for that guys, but this is life right now. So there it goes, there it is. <laughs> so I used the little dot paper on top of some cardstock and then I put it over top of the gutted book paper. And I gutted the book paper because I really wanted some of the spirographs on the back side of it. I don't need all of the spirographs, but I definitely just need some of them. And that's okay. It's okay. Like, scrapbook how you want to scrapbook. Right? That's what I say. Um, so there is that. I just have, I just wanted a little nod to school on this layout um, because my daughter is off at college. Um, even though the photos that I'm using are not academia, she is off at college. Um, this kind of layout is one of my go-to designs for when I have two four by six photo where one is portrait and one is landscape. So I put a bar of the purple graph paper um, across the layout there and then these are how I lay out my photos. One tall, one um, long right next to each other. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to mat these photos or if I'm going to leave them alone and ultimately I decide to mat them. Um, this paper is an older Imaginist Imagines, Imagines. I don't remember how they said it, but that is um, the paper that I'm using and I'm just going to mat them up with a, a thin photo mat. It's not going to be a huge, huge photo mat. Um, just a thin, just to add a pop of color um, because that green is in the background a little bit and there it is. I just figured it would go well. Um, with the dots. These apples on the other side, not so much. Kind of remind me of like old 70s apples. Um, I ran out of adhesive, so I grabbed a new one instead of filling the ATGs because, you know, it sucks. I have two ATGs, so I can just go from one to the other when they run out, but when both of them are out, it's a whole process. I mean, it's a whole process. And I'm... I mean, I have tons of ATG tape because my husband buys me a box for um, Christmas and birthdays, so I've got tons. <sighs> so it's not that. Now, I pull out the thickers from the Field Trip collection, and at first I was going to do this as a question title about something about, is this a Wahoo? Um, I hope I'm saying that. I, I think it's Wahoo. It's not a Wahoo, right? What is it? Wahoo? Wahoo? I don't know. I don't know. And the thing is, is I'm positive this daughter that I'm scrapbooking right now doesn't watch my scrapbooking videos, so she's not going to correct me either way. Um, so there is that. But you know what? We're okay with it. So I trimmed down the sticker that said Living Legend. I honestly have no idea if this mascot is a living legend, but it felt appropriate, so I put it on there. I do add in these two little tags um, because when I do this layout, I usually have some sort of embellishment in that, that 
like that missing area right there, that white space where the two photos don't really line up from top to bottom. There's some sort of embellishment right there. Um, and then sometimes I bring embellishment below the bar across the layout and sometimes I don't. This time I do. Um, not a whole lot, but a little bit of embellishment will go down. So this is where um, I decided to do more of a, an exclamation wahoo instead of a question wahoo because I put oh hello. And believe me, I know hello is one of the most overused words on scrapbooking. And frankly, I don't care. I just don't care. Like, I have tons and tons of pages that say hello something, and that's fine. Like, it really doesn't bother me whatsoever. I know that that might bother some other people, but honestly, I like it. It works for me. So I'm good with it. Now, I've pulled out some um, die cuts, and this is a mixture of um, Echo Park and Coco Vanilla and there might be some Cartabella, I don't know. Echo Park and Cartabella are like the same. They're the same company, even though they're branded as different. So sometimes I don't remember which one is which. I'm just popping through my other die cuts to see if there's anything in there that I might be able to use color-wise. And I do find um, some other things. I thought about adding in this pink little graph paper, but ultimately I just felt like it was too soft of a color. For all the deep bold colors that I have going on here but I did like this little yellow tab so I pulled that guy out and then I think I pull out a couple more little tabs you know I always think that I've probably used every single tab in in a die cut pack but it never fails I go into the stash I flip through and I find more and that's good for me like I'm, I'm good with that I like tabs they're good I do. So now I'm going in and I'm pulling out even more die cuts. So I store my die cuts in kind of a funky way. They're almost, it's a combination of storage by manufacturer and storage by feeling. So I keep my, like, I have a little embellishment case of travel airplane type stuff ready to go. I have one of florals ready to go, but the rest are kind of a combination of manufacturer slash the way they feel. So like October afternoon and older jelly bean soup with the cream background are together because they feel the same to me. It's kind of difficult to explain, but it's, it's, it's how I think when I'm scrapbooking. Like I think I need something creamy, you know, distressy, kind of vintagey feeling. I go for that, that box, if that makes sense. Um, but I do add a doily and then I add this Explorer rocket ship die cut. Not because this has anything to do with space whatsoever or, you know, I mean, it's a sporting event, but it felt right. The colors were a good match and it felt right to me. So I went ahead and did that because, you know, she was exploring new territory. She was going to college games and it's a new experience. See, I can justify anything I put on a layout. So it's all good, it's all good. Now these little star things are from Jelly Bean Soup and they're from a newer Jelly Bean Soup because they have, um, they're white based instead of cream based. And I'm just going to pop these around the page. Ultimately I do um, three of them. I am pop dotting up or foam squaring up the edges of them just to give them a little bit more lift off the page. And I think that adds a little touch of whimsy to these little, um, they're like pinwheel flower things. I don't know exactly what they're called. They're like little pinwheel flowery burst things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do those. But right now I decide, you know, I'm working on the pinwheel things, but right now I decide that the living legend and the tab need to be worked on right now, like right now. And that's okay. Um, I do scrapbook kind of all over the page. Um, I move around a lot and that's just because that's the way my brain works. I, my brain moves around a lot. Um, it's funny because, you know, I, I get bored easily. So I need to like, 
mix things up. And even on a 12 by 12 combined space, I feel like I need to mix things up so I don't get bored. And that might seem weird to some of you, um, but that's just the way it works in my head. So that's, that's just the way I do it. So I add one more of those little pinwheely things up here um, off of the doily. And then I'm gonna look for something to stick in the center of them. Um, at first, I really want it to use um, like something big. Like I was thinking of a big brad. I was thinking about just filling it in with stickles or some Nuvo drops. Um, I was even thinking of like a button. And I haven't put buttons on layouts and I don't know how long. Um, but I did find these big um, kind of rhinestone brads and they come in um, Echo Park brad packs. What stinks is they only put two of each color and I could really, really do with three. Now I am protecting the back of my layout by covering up the brad tines with my washi tape. Like I wonder, you know, I tease with my friends that I'm going to start a business where I put layouts and albums for people and I like protect their backs. But I really think people would pay for that. Like, I should do that. Like, how, how much should I charge? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I enjoy that thing. Like this, this part of the scrapbooking process, like some people would hate this, but I love that part. And I love putting albums and layouts and figuring out like which, how they should go. Because I used to be a very chronological scrapbooker where I would start on January 1st and just move. But now I play within within the year years I guess um, so like I'm wrapping up 2018 I'm working on 2019 and 2020 photos I've even started some of those um, so I play within the years so when my layouts start to get complete there's a process that I have to figure out you know what's missing where do I fill in the gaps I love that like that just makes me happy um, I do put these two little um, bows up here, but then I'm like, uh, no, it felt like too much. So I took one of the bows off and then I thought, well, maybe I'll just do like, like I used to do with ribbons and I'll just put it on there and staple it on. And eh, I wasn't, I wasn't too happy with that either. So what I do is I pull, see, look, look at that sad little string. So I pull the string off and the staples are still there. Well, now I can't have staples on one little piece of the page and, and not be anywhere else. So I take the stapler and I just staple around on a couple places just so that there's staples elsewhere on the page so it doesn't look like a mistake. Because that's what it was. That was, that was a mistake. Should have done that. So I staple up the little frame and then also on Living Legend. And that just gives me a couple little places where I have that, you know, that metallic finish. So after this, I'm just going to add a little journaling right on top the doily and it's, it's nothing heart wrenching, heartfelt or anything like that. It just says Chloe was so excited to go to this game. She sent us these photos and that's going to do it for this layout. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos, ring the bell. I always want to sing a song when I say ring the bell. Um, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.